this story here from a conversation we had with Charles Powell, who lives in New Jersey, a 28-year-old guy, said that 15 years of playing on Xbox Live, which is the online version of video gaming, the first time he ever met the guy who became his groomsman was at the wedding. That's why he believes that online friends are real-life friends. So if we just think about the, 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 the significance of that, example where a guy and another, you know, a couple of guys who met on the internet playing video games, spent you know, a number of years connecting, getting closer, sharing intimate parts of their lives through the playing of a game. And then it was only when he reached one of the most important milestones in his life that he decided to bring that relationship offline so they could physically share the moment of his wedding. And it just goes to show that all of the meaning, all of the connection that went on up until that point was just as real, just as meaningful as the moment they stepped offline and enjoyed a special, special wedding day. So just thinking about online first as a relationship starting point, online depth in terms of uh, people having real connections before they bring it offline as being a significant shift. And so we have to recognize that gaming is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, hangout space in the world at the moment. And for everybody who's not using gaming on a regular basis or is it of a different generation, the concept of gaming, aside from you know, all the hype we hear in marketing, is still quite abstract, I think, for many people. But I'm here to say that, really, gaming spaces are providing one of the biggest concerts of 2020 was held in a video game with Travis Scott performing. Uh, one of the most important and significant political, um, you know, political moments, political events of the year uh, happened in Twitch in a gaming environment uh, as part of the democratic election process. So we really are seeing these becoming fundamental first steps for real experience, and real connection. And it doesn't, the example I gave about the Xbox Live uh, gaming relationship and how it came offline um, is mirrored in this example here about seeing how people are using the virtual space for the most important milestones in their lives. This example here of somebody using a video game to invite somebody to a prom. You know, it, for all the non-Americans out there, of which I'm one, the idea that you would take that sort of coming of age moment, that sort of significant milestone in your life, and use a virtual space to, to invite somebody is, is almost unheard of uh, if you look at things from the physical perspective. But these are the types of experience that are happening online and the way in which the physical and virtual are merging.